lemonade today? Oh. <laughs> how, how you doing? This is Tony Hall for Tom Lyons and another exciting edition of Street Talk. Uh, we're here for the, the second time at the uh, Arts Festival down here by the Sayada River. And uh, oh, thanks a lot for the lemonade. And what's your name? My name's Dave Reddy. Okay, Dave, and uh, thanks a lot. Oh, do I have to pay for this or what? Uh, no, no, this is Squeeze Play Lemonade. That's squeeze all Play. I like to say. And stop on down and get you a lemonade today. Okay, thanks, Dave. Let's try it out here. Pretty artistic uh, lemonade, let me tell you. Seems like every time we come down here, it's a perfect day. And once again, it's beautiful. Sorry about the shadows on our face, but it's uh, about 12 o'clock. Uh, we're going to be asking people today about art, what they think art is. And it uh, should be a pretty good show. Somebody once told me that art was a guy's name. Art is a emotional self-expression uh, through music, dance, pictures, painting. It's a uh, part of yourself. Mm -hmm. How about you? What is art? Well, I think they just about summed it up. Okay, well, okay. What would be an example of bad art in your opinion? Something that's done, uh, that it's, it's done without expression. It's not somebody, the artist doesn't put himself into the music or the art or the dance. He just does it to make a buck. Uh, do, you, do you folks go out and buy a lot of art? Do you do that sort of thing? Uh, look at galleries and other art? We have in the past, uh, not a great deal anymore. We're kind of filled up, you know. We've, oh. we've got a lot of antiques in our home, and then, of course, we have art pieces that we have picked up along the way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tony, back to you. Tom, if you want to zoom in on any of these uh, uh, pieces of art here that are a little bit shadowed, but uh, with this camera, you should be able to pick it up pretty well. Uh, looking at uh, some handmade paper here, and uh, it's a little bit crowded, but... Uh, Tom, back to you. Hi, how important is art to you? Very important. Yeah, do you have a lot of art in your house? Yes, we do. You go shopping for art a lot? Yes. Where do you go? Kmart? No, we don't go to Kmart. Uh, do you have any black uh, uh, velvet paintings in your house? Uh, no, we abhor them. You, you, you abhor them? Yes. But I, I, I just have a feeling Andy Warhol is going to come out and do that next, and he'll make a million off it, right? He doesn't need it. Right. OK, what kind of art do you have? Uh, mostly antiques, antiques, some modern art, glass. So what, what, you guys hit the galleries around town uh, on a regular basis, or? Uh, more or less. Mm -hmm. Museums, um... Where do you go? What are some of the places you go here in Columbus? Are you from Columbus, or? Yes, Columbus Museum of Art we go mm -hmm. to regularly. Uh, there are not many art uh, shows in Columbus. We do go to some art auctions that they have at the Hyatt on occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Tony, back to you. What, what's a good example, in your opinion, of good art? I like art that is colorful and, um, you know, shows things that are bright and sunny. and Maybe an acrylic rainbow? Yes, that's... Kurt Frankenstein, Tony, over here at Graphics. Kurt Frankenstein. Kurt Frankenstein. Tony, back to you. Let's get some, uh, those are kind of different, aren't they? Uh, there's a couple price tags, $80 for the one on the top of the, the, uh, the, the uh, leopard or the women series, and then there's uh, $85 for the frogs. Those are kind of nice, though. Look at, the, look at the one down here with the birds and the guys in there, uh, yeah, down, down below on the bottom, straight down there. That's kind of nice, $95 for that. It looks, it reminds me an awful lot of, uh, there you go. Who is that, who is that uh, cartoonist back in the t time of, uh, uh, Boss Tweed, remember that fellow, the uh, cartoonist who? Uh, Walter Lance. No, not Walter Lance. That was uh, that was somebody else. Hi, how important is art to you? Important. I don't know. Yeah. Well, what do you mean important? You go out and buy art a lot. Do you have a lot of art at home? No, I don't. You don't? Why not? I can't afford it. Is that a problem? Art's too expensive. Well, I don't think it's too expensive for the work the artist put into it. It's just not one of my priorities right now to buy it. Mm -hmm. But uh, someday, maybe. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you. What else do we have over here? I think a balloon just broke over there, Tony. That was kind of frightening, wasn't it? A balloon breaking and... Did the camera jiggle when the balloon broke? Uh, no, but my heart did. All right. Very... T Tony is a pretty steady guy. Hi. How important is art to you? 
It's very important. Very, well, I mean, how, how, how important is that? Do you go out and buy a lot of art? Do you uh, look at the galleries a lot, hit all the different galleries around town? I go to the galleries a lot. I go, I go to art school. Oh, so where? I am going at CCAD, but not right now. Oh, okay. What, what galleries do you go to? Columbus Museum of Art and the Cultural Arts Center and Gallery 200. Mm -hmm. Those and, places. Uh, Ohio State. How do you think Columbus rates in terms of art production uh, and support of the arts? Uh, with the exception of this arts festival once a year. Hi. I think they're improving quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I don't think they do bad for a Midwestern town. You think what? I don't think they do bad for a Midwestern town. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Come on, get over here. We have a, a, a person visiting from uh, from England, and uh, you've been here for a month, right? Yes, I have. Yeah. What's your name again? Joanna. Joanna. How can I forget that name? Uh, but uh, we were at, uh, at a fashion show last night. That's right. And uh, that was kind of artsy craftsy. Uh, how, how important is art to you? Um, being an architect, it's fairly important. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say art, do you mean, I mean, everything. Everything yeah. around you should is art. Architecture, mm -hmm. building, painting. It's pretty important. <laughs> Do you, you have a lot of art? Hi, what are you asking questions no. about? <laughs> oh, we're asking questions about art. Oh, really? Yeah. What kind of art? Uh, any kind of art. Art <laughs> really? in general, yeah. No. But I, I'm in the middle of an interview here. Oh, are you really? I'll be okay. back. Wait, 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 wait. But anyway, I wanted, I wanted to find out. I wanted to get a little, a, a little bit of a contrast between the emphasis, okay. between the emphasis uh, on art in England and, and over here. Do you think there's any kind of a difference in the short time you, you've seen since you've been here? A difference in the emphasis? Yeah, now, art is more important in London than they are here in Columbus, or? Um, there's a lot more art on the streets, I suppose, a lot more performance art, a lot more um, mime and things going on in squares, around shopping areas. People much want a lot more around. Mm -hmm. there is, there's not enough maybe going on on the street mm -hmm. every day. This is great, but it should yeah. happen more often. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Joanna is visiting from London, Tony. She's an uh, architect with Trot and Bean, who have a really wonderful building over here uh, on the uh, Cross from the Ohio Center. The best form of art? Um, yeah, your favorite. My personal favorite? Gee, that's hard to say. I guess printmaking. Printmaking? Yeah. What, what kinds? Uh, all different kinds. Wood prints, mostly. Like uh, what is art? But there, it's whatever you perceive it to be. Whatever you perceive it to be. Thank you. The president of the uh, Transcendental Society of... Uh, What's your favorite type? Oh, sculpture, I guess. I think sculpture. it expresses a little more mm -hmm. for what me. Do you think anyway. what, do you th what do you think about some of the controversy that's been going on about the uh, some of the contemporary non-representational sculpture around town? People not being able to identify to the Jesse Owens thing uh, by the stadium. And you, do you like modern uh, abstract uh, art? Well, um, I think there's room in art for anybody to express themselves any way that they wish. And if they uh, create something that brings beauty to a certain segment of the population, I think that's fine. I don't think anything is going to appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good point. Thank you. Let's see some more art, Tony. We'll just move along here. Okay, good. Tony, there's some uh, stained glass coming up. You might want to keep, keep coming over this way a little bit more. Oh, let's do that. Maybe, maybe we can catch the artist inside. And we'll ask, we'll ask them how they feel about everything. But anyway, it's really a wonderful day. Why don't I remind everybody that the show is on uh, Wednesday and Saturday, 11 o'clock, cha Cable Channel 3. Hi, sir. I hate to butt in, but we're just asking people real briefly uh, how important art is in their lives. That's a, that's a hard question. Well, in my life? Yeah. Are you, the, are, you, are you the artist here? Yes. Well, I'm a full-time artist, so I imagine it's pretty important to me. Mm -hmm. And how are you doing? How do you find people uh, on a year-long year basis uh, in terms of being receptive to what you do? Is that a problem? Do you have to go out there and sell, sell, sell? And Absolutely. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really tough for artists right now. I mean, people are out of work. You expect mm -hmm. uh, expecting to go out and spend money on art. you got a lot of waiting to do. Yeah. How, how, part, how big a, a, a part of your, your, uh, your art is the business part of it? A lot of artists don't think about that, I think, maybe. Or young, young artists don't. Well, it's as little as possible. I don't want to be a businessman. Mm -hmm. if, I wanted to, if I wanted to be a businessman, I would have done that. But uh, mm -hmm. How often do you come out and sell your stuff like this at fairs and places? As little as possible. I don't even like to do this because it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it is, it's a long hours and... Not very much money, unfortunately. I, I'd rather do commission work. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. 
Tony, let's keep moving over this way. What is art is uh, whatever the person happens to think it is that is interesting, creative, beautiful, etc. Okay. So I guess it's beauty in the eye of the beholder. Is art important to you? Yes, very important. What kind of art do you have in your home? Uh, we have original oil paintings, we have stained glass, have glassware, have antiques, um, watercolors. Mm -hmm. Who's your but, favorite artist? Oh dear. Well, I think at the moment it's uh, Carmelina de Capri, who's an old woman who's about 80 years old on the Isle of Capri that I got a painting from. And she uh, gave me a kiss with a painting. So at the moment, that's my favorite artist. <laughs> but I like Van Gogh in terms of the classics. Okay, good. Thanks a lot. Well, uh, moving right along, we got uh, some pretty fancy uh, hammocks. Twin Oaks, Twin Oaks hammocks here, or as they say, hammocks, I think, around this, this part of the country. Anyway, excuse me, ma'am. We're asking people, uh, what is art? What is art? Right. Beauty makes people happy. Um, I don't know. Just something creative. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. We're asking people, what is art? I was afraid you were going to ask me that. <laughs> You've had time to think about it then, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I've been at it all my life. Oh, have you? Yeah. Are you one of the artists here? No, I'm from Iowa. But I paint and I do stained glass work. And stained glass? Yeah. Glass. That's a, I like is that. Is there any of that here? Uh, I don't know. We just got yet. here. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah. So stained glass is your favorite? And some beautiful things here. What's my favorite thing to do? Mm -hmm. I sort of got hooked on it, you know. Do you do uh, sculptures or windows or? Well, windows mostly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one for my daughter like this for her front door. Oh, that's pretty nice. We just decided on that. Five mm -hmm. minutes ago. Who's your favorite artist? Oh, my favorite artist is hard to say. I, uh, if it's painting, I, I go for the realist. The realist? Mm -hmm. I don't care for abstract art very much, and that makes me a little stupid, a little old fashioned. A little... You think it's not as difficult, maybe, as the realism? Right. Mm -hmm. I've seen kids do with their eggs in the morning with, on the wallpaper, which <laughs> I've seen some things is called abstract art. Everybody will think I'm terribly stupid for saying that. Oh, I'll say she just doesn't understand. Well, maybe you know, so. You have to be able to understand it. Put yourself in the artist's place. I'd rather just look at it and know what it is, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. and admire it. Okay. Great, thanks a lot. I guess there's uh, two schools of thought when it comes to painting, uh, the realist versus the abstract. Isn't that true, Tom? Yeah, Tony, that's always been a major, uh, a major uh, conflict in art. That's what I thought. Okay, well, uh, this is the Christopher Moret uh, Turn of the Wheel Pottery. You might want to check that out, or I guess you don't want to check it out. And uh, we'll come right over to here and, uh, excuse me, we're asking people, what is art? Let's see, I saw you on TV. How am I supposed to answer this? Probably as honestly and if not uh, <laughs> uncandidly as possible. <laughs> well, I think art is having a baby and living over on Oak Street. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, actually, that's... actually, it has more to do, I think, with aesthetics and with what things look like as well as what you can use them for. I like this show because it has things that are useful as well as lovely. Okay, so uh, the degree of uh, functionality is very important. Well, I don't know how, but I do think it works with the art, especially crafts art. So if you can use the painting for, uh, a, table for napkin, a table napkin, for instance, <laughs> yes. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot. Hi, we're asking people, uh, what is art? <laughs> oh, boy. I know you got a couple hours? <laughs> in, in two sentences or less. <laughs> two sentences or less. What is art? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a craftsman. I'm set up and doing this show. Oh, really? Which, which uh, show do you have? I have the clocks up there. Oh, the clocks? Yeah, right, and the big pieces of sculpture. Did we see those, Tom? No, I don't know if we did or not. Uh, grandfather's clocks? or whatever. No, no, no. They're our own design clocks, uh, wall and shelf clocks. Oh, okay. But so. uh, that's a question, you know, everybody worries about all the time, but uh, what is art? I don't know. A lot of different things, different people, I guess. Well, at least you're honest enough to admit it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. An artist that doesn't know. See, that tells you a lot. See, the people that aren't artists probably know. No, no, I'm not an artist. I'm a well, craftsman. Okay, there's a difference. Oh, yeah, definite difference. You start out on the bottom, and that's an artist. Then you work up three or four notches, you get the craftsman. 
Oh. Oh, there's some nice pastels. You want to check out this woman in the polka dot, yeah, black and yellow polka dot uh, blouse here, Tony? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, lovely day. And if you didn't come down to the arts festival, okay, folks, right you made it. You made a big mistake. If you didn't, if you didn't come down here, because we're really having an awful lot of fun, an awful lot of lovely things to look at. Hi, Wh who's the artist here? Hi, Susan Naylor. I will ask you people how important art is in their lives. So, excuse me for interrupting. How important is art in my life? It's that's all there is. That's your life, okay? How uh, how do you find people receive you? Do you have a, a good time uh, selling your stuff as well as making it, or do, would you rather be at home uh, making it, or? I would rather be at home making art, mm -hmm. really. And I come out, and it, it, it's a good way to, to see people and see what they, how they react. And I get a pretty good reaction. I enjoy it. How much uh, do you base your art, uh, art uh, on, on people's reactions? Is that a thing for you, or do you just do what you like to do? No, I do what's inside of me to do, you know, because there are people that have adverse reactions as well as positive reactions. Mm -hmm. I see back here, is this your piece here? The, the woman, is a, it's a representational figure of a woman, and the rest of this looks fairly abstract. Um, uh, you you an sort of piece an older piece and these are the new works over here. Okay, so your your new things are abstract. Mm -hmm. you have a, uh, is there any problem with people accepting those or wondering so, what it's all about? Or? It's just it's just so many different kinds of people. Everybody has something different that they like. Good. So are you encouraged uh, lately with uh, your reception as an artist? Uh, the public uh, people being turned on. To, are you from Columbus, by the way? Or? From Cincinnati. Oh. So, you think things are getting better for artists or? Oh, it's uh, like waves, you know, it gets good for a while and then it recedes and it gets better each time. I think it'll... I don't know. <laughs> how much How much does your uh, business depend upon the economy and all that? For sales of art? Oh, it has a very definite dependence, yeah. If there's free money, you know, art is basically decoration. And so if there's free money, people will, will spend it on it. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, Tony. His, his guys are friends of uh, his guys are friend of Tony's. Hi, we're asking people how important art is in their lives. Oh, it's very important. Yeah, would you buy a lot of art? Go shopping for it? We shop a lot. We can't afford too much, so do we go, don't buy much. Where do you go shopping? <laughs> where? Yeah. Well, we're here today looking. Uh huh. There's a lot of wonderful stuff here today. That's true. That's yeah, true. Did you bring your money with you when you when you when you came? No, you can't bring money, or else you might buy something. Yeah, I know. And then you only have money for the uh, whatever basic necessities like right. food yeah okay we should ask a few of the uh, a few more of the uh, artists here themselves what is art I think we might get some pretty uh, bizarre answers let's talk to this guy right over here plus we'll get a good view of what's going on he's the best potter he's the best potter around is that true if she says so it's true if she says so you must be his mother no I'm not I'm not related I just terrific dynamite customer that's all she just bought ten thousand dollars worth of material of course she has got, no, I'm only kidding. We're asking people, uh, while you're filling out the bill here, <laughs> what is art? <laughs> an art is what, uh, art is what an artist makes. And you can tell if he's an artist if he makes art. And I can't get any less circular than that and give you an, <laughs> an honest answer. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, Matisse. And what would you consider to be, uh, say, the worst form of art that's floating around today? Uh, I don't know. Some performance pieces, I think, are pretty shallow. But, you know, there's, it's, it's pretty difficult to say what's the worst. It would be equally difficult to say what's the best. Yeah. But I, I don't think any one form of art is innately better or worse than another. Say, so I don't think painting is better than printmaking is better than sculpture. It's equally atrocious and equally. Okay, perfect. what's your least favorite? My least favorite media. television <laughs> all right what about you what my least favorite media I have, I don't know I, I sculpture is my and uh, ceramics is my most favorite mm -hmm. okay you gonna buy some sculptures here while you're at it not well some ceramics I guess the sculpture pieces is some some wouldn't wouldn't they be Tim yeah sculpture pieces sculpture ceramic. pieces mm -hmm. and some you know and a teapots and things like that okay well listen thanks a lot Pardon me? Television is it's a media with with probably more potential than everything anything else. It's being wasted so much. Pretty commercialized, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm one of the two percent or one percent that doesn't own a television set. Oh, there, there's another one right over there. It doesn't own one. Oh, good. 
Yeah. Tom doesn't even own one. How is the sale of art doing this year? Are we up or down? Seems to be doing real well. I wasn't here last year, but we're doing fine this year. Where were you last year? I wasn't working with them last year. Oh, I see. But you were here in Columbus. Yes. Okay. Um, how important is art for most people, do you think? Oh, it's very important. It involves so many things. Mm -hmm. Their clothing, design of everyday things that are around them all the time. A lot of people have been saying that a lot, a lot of the stuff here is so expensive they just can't really think about buying too much. Is that a problem? It doesn't seem to be here, but we have things that range all the way from $2 on up to 50 60 or more. Do you hear that complaint a lot about art being uh, too expensive? No, not really. Uh, it depends on how important it is to that person. Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Thank you. Hi, Linda. How are you doing? How are you? Good. I like your chest hair. So do I. You want some? Hey, we're asking people how important uh, art is to them. Now look at the camera so Tony can focus in on your glasses. That wasn't the question that Tony said he was going to ask me. What, what was the question, Tony? He said he was going to ask me what is art. Oh, that's, that's what he was asking. Okay, what's art? It's a guy's name. Okay, and how important is art to you? Well, I haven't met him yet, oh, but when over I... over there. Do. I'll introduce you. Oh, how, how important is art to you? You work for a, a kind of a design firm? Yeah, I work for a design firm. So you're kind of artsy? It's rubbed off, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, you can see by, I'm now wearing red shoes. I never used to wear them. That's good. Those are nice uh, scuffed up leather shoes, I wear shoes my, too. right, it goes with the red look. Red leather. I, I wear my purse across my shoulder. That's artsy. Mm -hmm. Very, uh, I, uh, I have a Frisbee in my bag. A mini Frisbee. Pretty, okay. pretty artsy. It's kind of out there. But anyway, do you buy a lot of art? Do you have a lot of art at home? I live with an artist, so I get mine free. Okay, thanks, Tom. Hi, we're asking people, what is art? I'm not it. <laughs> Ask her, she's the art teacher. <laughs> oh, you're the art teacher. Okay, well, here we're going to get the textbook version. Of, what, what, what is the textbook version of art, definition-wise? It You have to define art in its context. If you're teaching it in the school, it's different from coming out here or different from going to an art gallery. Okay, so now, more specifically, what is, your, in your opinion, is uh, in two sentences or less, is the definition of art? I can't define it in two sentences or less. So that's very evasive, a typical right. teacher. Okay, how about you? We're asking people, what is art? Yeah, it's an expression, I guess. Mm -hmm. Expression of feeling. Is art important to you? Yeah, very important. What like form of art would, would, would be your most uh, favorite? I like music and paintings mm -hmm. in particular. Writings also. I don't know, it's kind of like a retreat from technology or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, and who's your favorite artist? Um, Renoir. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. And uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, I've got some candles over here, and uh, along with some uh, uh, woodwork. And uh, Tom's camera work is just fantastic. As we look at Charles Hicks, one of the artists. Well, I, I'm considered some, something similar to that. Okay. Uh, Charles, what, how would you define art? Uh, I would rather not make that definition. I, See, the artists uh, always have the most interesting answers. Yes, uh, you have fine arts and then you have applied arts, which is uh, the field I am in. Uh, I don't really consider myself an artist as such. Mm -hmm. I consider myself an artist in Mm -hmm. which is a craftsman. Mm -hmm. A craftsman who uses his brain. Okay. All right. Great. Well, thanks a lot. Hi, right, we're asking people, what is art? What is art? Mm -hmm. Well, it's fabulous. I know that. I just bought a piece of art, and I love it. How much did it cost you? Uh, yeah, $25. Really? Oh, you bought it here? Yeah. Bought it here. What did, what did you get? Can we see it? Well, uh, he's keeping he's it for us. It <laughs> yeah, oh, till we till we're ready to leave. It's, it's a, a wood, painting. It's a wood sculpture. Oh, it's a sculpture. It's, it's a, a sculpture. Of, uh, wood about this long with a man's face all carved in on it. Really? Yeah. Beautiful. It's beautiful oh, work. Everything beautiful here is fabulous. Handmade. All he down there chiseling now. It's on the up hand side down near the end. Mm -hmm. We're from over near Zanesville. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Great. Who's, who's your uh, favorite favorite artist? Who's my favorite artist? <laughs> That's one. You ought to know that without even thinking. Da Vinci. <laughs> Vinci? I thought you were going to say. What, what do you think he's, I was going to say? I was thinking of a singer, Johnny Mathis. Oh, you were thinking of a singer. Oh, okay. <laughs> he has a break dancer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Where are you dancing? Oh, huh? here. Let's have him do something.
What time? Back okay? Yeah. Yeah, can we just, here, okay, here's a fat, what, what's your name? What's your name, first of all? My name is Jimmy Crumb. I want okay. Capital City. Okay. Busy B, Big Ben. Big Ben. Tricky Crumb. Tricky Crumb. Eric Long, right here. Floor Rock. Okay, Floor Rock. A little break dancing here, Tony. Take take a break. Uh, this is this is called break your head dancing. If they fall, they're in Capital trouble. C. Capital C, whatever that means. Oh, great. That was good, Tony, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so we got more to go here. Stop, you want to talk to some people about art. Okay, I'll just do the hi. How important is art to you? Very. Very, how very? Do you have a lot of art at home? Yes. Yeah. How about dancing? Is dancing, you do a lot of dancing? Yes. Are you a pretty good dancer? Yeah. That's kind of an arty thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. You can't, can you do this kind of stuff? Yeah. Art is what the mind thinks it is. Are you? Art is what the mind thinks it is. There you go. Hi, we're asking people, what is art? Beautiful things to look at. Beautiful things to look at? Yes. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be man-made then, right? No. Art can be natural or man-made. Oh, that's a first. We haven't had that one yet. Great. How about you? What is art? What's art to you? Um, it's like things that people made for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. And this is pretty interesting here. Some kind of a... Uh, I don't know what it is, but... Uh, excuse me. Let's find out what it is. Oh, are you the artist here? No, I'm not. I'm, the artist is getting lunch. Oh, okay. What, what is this stuff? It's movable art. You not only look at the pretty shapes and colors, but they change constantly. So you have a picture that is always changing. Oh. And so you can look at it and you can um, move them different ways. You don't even have to move it the same way. So the observer is creative also. Kind of like art as a reflection of uh, man's industrialization or something. Right. Uh, art's very important. It adds a lot of dimensions to my life. Mm -hmm. It does. Like what? I think this, uh, uh, gatherings like this are great. I enjoy seeing individual artists and their works. And uh, there's just something more important to them than going to a store and buying something made by the factory, mm -hmm. being one of a kind. Mm -hmm. You go to uh, many galleries around town? Uh, yeah. Which ones? Let's see. Well, Ohio designers and uh, the art museum. Uh -huh. uh, it was my maiden name. Art was yeah. your maiden name. Right. <laughs> Take a look at some of these prints here, uh, Tom. Uh, they look pretty nice. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I guess not. Hi, we're asking people what is art. <laughs> art is what you like. Art is what? What you like, what? period. Period. That means don't talk to me anymore, is that it? <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, it uh, doesn't need any definition beyond that. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to watch Street Talk uh, Wednesday, Saturday, 11 p.m. And I uh, want to thank all the people out there also who, who see us and give us a few slaps in the back uh, whenever we see people. It really uh, makes us feel good. I wish I could be more part of it. It seems like it's something that I, I tend to wish I could be part of more, but I end up just getting in a rut and not participating. Yeah, I've been a lot of people feel that way about art. I mean, you know, when you're a kid, you, you're, you're encouraged to do all this uh, finger painting, that sort of stuff, and it's just sort of a natural thing, isn't it? Yes, and then you start growing up and you get in a rut of being a mom and you don't get to do the things you wish you could do.